Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know that I am currently having a poll in the community tab so you guys can let me know which video game series you would like to watch me marathon. The choices are between Pokemon, Sonic the Hedgehog, Ratchet and Clank, Spyro the Dragon, and Crash Bandicoot. So make sure you head over there and vote so you can influence the direction that this channel will take for quite some time. So with that said, let's get back to more Danganronpa V3. Oh, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto. Oh, shit! Mm -hmm. I just had to take a drink of my water before this. Okay. Remember, there was a part of me, you know, sometime earlier in the, in the series, there was a moment when I said, hey, is it possible that Kibo's inner voice is Makoto? I mean, he looks just like him. <laughs> my name is Makoto. I don't have any talents or anything. I'm just a regular teenager. This boring looking person is me. Is that what Makoto looked like? Oh god. Tell me this is a different Makoto. By the way, this is not the same voice. See? Even the way I look is normal. Getting into an elite school like this was just the start of my bad luck. I can't keep up with my classmates' conversations, or the teacher's lectures. I'm just treated like empty space in the classroom. At home, my parents are constantly on my case. Honestly, I'm fed up. I want to run away from my daily life. I want to run away and just forget all this. I want to run away, and run away, and run away, and run away, and run away. But I'm okay. I have a reason to live. I've got something to look forward to. That's why I'm gonna be okay. Thanks for the courage. Thanks for giving me something to get totally obsessed with. Thanks for the strength to keep going. I'll keep on rooting for you. So please keep trying your best. And one day, I'll also... What happened? What did you say? The school building's the school building blew up. What the hell? Hey. hey, over there. I turned my head to where Maki was pointing. Kibo? What was that? Kibo, what are you doing? Yeah. You're flying! Is it magic? That punk. I don't know what he's planning, but it looks like he's attacking the school disc indiscriminately. We need to hurry and stop him. We'll get caught up in this mess if we don't. What? But how do we stop All him? Right. We have to talk to him. We can get him to calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Hey. It's dangerous, but let's go to the courtyard and try to get his attention. Oh, Aren't we in the courtyard? Yeah, you're right. Confused by the situation unfolding in front of us, we ran to the center of the courtyard. Kiba, what the fuck, man? It's like a battlefield. Damn it! We need to get his attention. Get him to come down. Kibo, over here! Hey! You trying to kill us? Kibo! Please, Kibo, come down and talk to us. I shouted out to Kibo, who finally came to a halt in midair, and then slowly flew down to us. Hey. Here he comes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Did you call for me? Please keep it brief. 
I have other matters I must attend to. Huh? Other matters? Yes. I'm going to end this killing game. Huh? End the killing game. Indeed. To do that, I must destroy the Ultimate Academy for gifted juveniles. What did you say? Destroy it? That's right. The killing game cannot go on if I destroy the school in its entirety. Could it be? So that's why you have that weapon. Hey. What's with the weapon in the jetpack? Yeah. I obtained this equipment from my lab. Huh? You had equipment like that in your lab? Yes. I made some modifications to drastically improve their power output and functionality. Wait. Since when have you been able to do that? You didn't level up or anything, right? Did something happen? Uh, um... Did you say that you didn't want to use anything from the lab? Right. That's right. You don't like using sci- you don't like looking sci-fi. That's right. Yes, I wanted to be treated like a real human, like a real human. <laughs> I created a creature of flesh and blood like you. I have decided. But I no longer have the luxury of clinging to that wish anymore. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. I... My course is clear. I must destroy this academy and end this killing game. You can't! Hold on. If you do something like that, we'll all die too, you know? All our food supply is in there. Um... There's no oxygen in the outside world. There are no living things. We're only able to survive because we're inside the spaceship, you know? Right. That's right. You trying to kill us too? Yes. If my actions result in your death, so be it. Huh? So be it! That's... Monokuma told us that despair is our only choice. That hope does not exist here. Unfortunately... And unfortunately, he's right. As long as this killing game continues, only despair awaits us. No. Wait, you still have hope. Remember... Our hope is everyone here, our friends who are still alive. You're right! Yeah, if we all work together, even the killing game will... 100%! It will not stop. It will never stop. What should we do? And even if we did manage to stop this killing game and escape, where will we go? Earth is destroyed, humanity is instinct, instinct? <laughs> humanity is extinct, we have no home to return to. What? And that might be true, but... Which means... Monokuma's right. Despair is all we have here. We simply do not have the power to change the outside world on our own. Everyone! All we can do now is refute to submit to despair. Hey! And you would be willing to let all of us die to accomplish that? Logical. There's a far better alternative than allowing Monokuma to continue the killing game. What was that? Are you serious? Listen closely. Kaido and Kokichi gave their lives to end this killing game. We must do it. We should follow their example. We should be willing to give our lives to end this killing game. What do you mean? If that's what your inner voice is telling you to do... No. No. I can no longer hear that voice. Huh? I'm afraid I can't do that for you. <laughs> like I said, the moment he said, I believe this is what you call fate, turn it down, get it out of here, shut it off, the robot sentient, fully sentient, it's gonna kill us all. Can't hear it anymore. That's right. For some reason, my inner voice has gone silent. This decision is my will, my choice. I have decided. I've chosen to modify myself and destroy this academy. Everyone! We can never submit to despair. Because we're students of Hope Peak Academy. No. No, that's wrong. Why? Wrong. That's... Because there might still be hope. There might still be a place to call home. Well then... And what are you basing that claim on? That's wrong! Nothing. But... I just have a feeling. You... Just a feeling? You sound like that idiot right now. Because... Kaito said so. It's just like Okichi said. This game rules matter so much, someone's watching. Okay. There can be no killing game without an audience. Um... Hope's Peak Academy was the same way. It was a killing game made for an audience. This game must be the same way. Someone's watching this somewhere. There's someone left. There's still a possibility. <sighs> True. We cannot say there's absolutely no possibility. But even a mere possibility... No, that's wrong! That's possibility is our hope. Huh? What? Because... We haven't investigated everything. There's still a lot of mysteries in this school. If there's still questions to answer, then we haven't found the truth. Um... And that means we can't give up. We can't give up before we reach the truth. I see. 
Spoken like a true ultimate detective. I understand. Very well. I shall cooperate with your attempt to stop this killing game your way. Thank you. Kibo. Listen closely. But you have until dawn. I will not wait any longer than that. Huh? Until dawn. But I don't own a PlayStation. I can't get that, Kibo. <laughs> I can't play the game. Yeah. Though dawn here is simply an illusion projected onto the dome, if you cannot stop the killing game by dawn, 100%. I will destroy the Ultimate Academy and end the killing game myself. <laughs> You're gonna end what now? Ah, didn't I tell you? It's impossible to end the killing game! Cause the killing game is forever eternal! Why you? He's back. Unbuilt. Attempting to destroy this precious academy is more than a violation of school regulations. It's an act of mutiny. That's enough. So what? You're sorely mistaken if you think I'll allow this to continue. Hmm. hmm. Is the robot malfunctioning? He might be. Why else would he try to defy me? Let's do this! Then let's kill him until he dies from it. Hell yeah. Leave it to me. But people die when they are killed. Ripping a robot apart isn't gory at all, so I can go all out this time. And that's that. Pops, can we kill him? Please. <laughs> They're so brazen because they don't have any hair downstairs. Oh, God. Aww. Well, any last words? <laughs> They're all in battle mode. Everyone. This place is dangerous. You all need to get out of here. Kibo. Kibo, you okay? Yeah. Suichi, please find this truth that you mentioned earlier while I stomp them. Well then. It's all in your hands now. Now go. Okay. Kibo, you can't die this way. Never forgive rule breakers. Anyone who messes with the killing game must die. Exosols assemble. Come on, Kibo, you gotta at least take out one. No, I won't let you run amok anymore. This killing game is over. In the name of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbol of hope itself, I will destroy the Ultimate Academy and bring down this monument to despair. That's how it began, in the war between Kibo and the Exocells. The Ultimate Academy became a battlefield. Jesus. Goodbye, Danganronpa. Daily life. We ran to the entrance hall, trying to escape the battle that was unfolding. Seems like... Things suddenly became really bad. So the robot uprising finally happened. It's what I always feared, but... Why you? I never expected it to be like this. Why? But why did Monokuma leave a weapon like that in the research lab? It's pretty careless, isn't he? Nah, shit. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. What? Hey, what should we do? Remember. Just as I said before, we need to find the truth in order to end this killing game. What's that mean? Okay, but what do we need to look for? <sighs> Obviously, we need to find the real identity of the mastermind behind the killing game. What? The mastermind? Is there really a mastermind in this academy? Because... If the outside world is destroyed, then the mastermind must be in the school, right? Kokichi wasn't the mastermind. Then in that case... I don't know... But I thought the only one, one saved by the Gopher Project was us 16 students. Nope. Don't you think it's possible someone may have infiltrated the Gopher Project? That's right. That someone could be the mastermind hiding somewhere in this school. Um... Someone? You mean a remnant of despair? Then someone else inside. Then someone else inside the. Oh, ah, God, I can't read. Inside this academy, besides Kokichi, is a remnant of despair. That's true. If we can find them and kill them, then the killing game should end. Uh, um. I don't know about killing them. But. But there's the possibility that the mastermind's hiding somewhere in the academy. This complex is huge. There must be places we haven't explored yet. That's right. Seems like it's worth a shot. But. And that's not the only thing we have to find. To truly end this killing game, we must find the mastermind of despair. That's... And also find hope. Huh? Hope. Remember. Our home. 
where we're going to where we're going to live after this killing game ends. I know that there's hope out there. We have to find it before we leave. Oh, geez. This isn't some fictional story, so don't think things work out that well. Hey, but if we look for it, we just might find it. If we don't try, we'll never find anything. Okay. So we have to try. That's true. Since Kibo's distracting the Exosols, we won't have to worry about violating school rules. Okay. Must be another room that we haven't investigated yet. Oh, right! You're right! There's no point complaining. Let's all just do whatever we can. Mm. Well, if we all work together, everything will be alright. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. No matter how impossible it seems, we'll accomplish it. I'll look at Maki's smile. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Alright! We need to find the hope and despair hidden in this academy. We, uh, well, not. When all is revealed, this killing game will end. Investigation start. Hey. Let's split up and start searching. Hey. We're gonna split up, but <laughs> we're just in such a unique, unite, oh God, united mode. What? Well, we don't have enough time to all go together, unfortunately. You're right. Right. We'll see each other soon. All right. All right. As you go, we need to end this killing game before dawn. Ah! I was afraid of that. Is that an XL or is that Kibo? Hmm. What? A hole? Now this is time. Now is the time to test your bonds with your friends. The time to draw on your bonds with your friends will be displayed. If your bond increases, you can move large debris. So work hard to end kill. Oh god, work hard to end this killing game before it breaks. Wait, bonds. Oh shit. Staircase. Why is there a staircase here? The staircase is supposed to be unlocked by a mysterious item. Hmm. There must be clues around here. We need to investigate. All right. I'm working on a time limit here. Let's just make sure we save beforehand, just in case I fuck it up, because I will. Let's go. Bow. That takes zero bonds. This caused zero as well. The hell is under here? Huh? It's broken, but from this door, must be an ultimate lab. It isn't open, but there's only one ultimate lab left. That would be Kokichi's. Okay. Kokichi, supreme ultimate leader. Door isn't open. It's supposed to open. Per the rules, if the student dies before their ultimate research lab is open, and then the lab will remain closed. But Kibo explosive broke the door. I should be able to get inside. I have to go inside. There's gotta be some clues in here, right? Oh my god, he lives in the Batmobile. So this is Kokichi's lab. It certainly does have the feel of an evil organization, but there's nothing that would identify the remnants of despair. Let's show him that the students of Hope Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? At that time, Kaito was in the Exocell, but it didn't seem like he knew anything about the remnants. Kokichi and Kaito weren't there when we used the flashback lights. But, even without the memory, the truth is the same. If this lab was made for Kokichi, there should be some link to the remnants. Hmm. Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. I should investigate thoroughly. Yeah, I don't got time to do that. Oh, not the helicopter, damn it! Toy helicopter? Is this Kokichi's? What a loser. I wanna check this. The bat computer. A large table, one I imagine is used for strategy meetings. There's nothing of peculiar, nothing of particular interest on top of the table. Okay. Oh my God, he has a fucking Mister. <laughs> he has a goddamn Doctor Manhattan chair. Jesus fuck. This Kokichi's chair definitely something the Supreme Leader would sit in, but something feels off. It's too cliche. 
It feels like the entire room is just an elaborate prank. An elaborate prank. This must be the emblem of the organization that Kokichi leads. But do the remnants of the spare put up emblems? Uh, they're matching shoes and suits of many colors here. Ultimate Supreme Leader's Lab. And these uniforms are for other members of the organization. There's some unsettling objects here. Gas masks, handcuffs. There's also wigs and glasses for disguises, I imagine. But they seem comical. Hmm. This doesn't seem like something the remnants of despair would use. It's because he's not a remnant. Is there something on the floor? A book. There's a collection of files here. Bound, bound like a book. The Complete History of Hope's Peak Academy? I picked up the book and began rapidly flipping through the pages. And inside... Information of Hope's Peak Academy, Future Foundation, and the Remnants of Despair. Hmm. This is a history of the battle between hope and despair. But we've already remembered all this. We know this information. I don't suppose it makes for a peculiar useful clue. I don't suppose. No. Something's not right. Something's off. Because of things written in this book. Got a minute? Do you really have time to read a book? You got time to bother me? Shouldn't you be looking somewhere else? I flinched in surprise as Maki peeked at the thick book in my hands. What? The complete history of Hope's Peak Academy. What's the point of reading this now? You already remember Hope's Peak Academy with the flashback lights, didn't you? No. Yes, I thought that was. I thought that as well. Hey, Maki, this is perfect timing. Will you come with me? Huh? For what? Is that all right? I need you to tell me everything you remember about the history of Hope to Be Academy. Why? But why? That's... I need to check something important. <sighs> I don't really understand, but I just need to talk about it, right? She gave me a big, almost theatrical sigh. <laughs> she just... God. Then started speaking in a bored narration. It all began at Hope's Peak Academy. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The world was plunged into ruin, and humanity into the depths of despair. This tragic event was caused by a lone high school girl. The ultimate despair, Junko Enoshima. In order to fulfill her plans to plunge humanity and the world into utter despair, she organized the killing game of Hope's Peak Academy's 78th class. Trapped by the ultimate despair, the 78th class was forced to participate in the killing game. But in the end, Junko Enoshima died at the hands of the very killing game she masterminded. With her death, the despair outbreaks ended, and the world slowly began to recover. But the remnants of despair continued to carry out Junko's legacy of despair. The Future Foundation was established to fight against them, and their war raged on. Alright, give me a moment guys, I'll be right back. I have to check on something, unfortunately.
Alright. Sorry about that. Oh, I did not mean to make you guys wait that long. <laughs> I had to I had to go check on something. And then I had to use the bathroom because my fucking stomach started killing me. God damn it. And then on the way back I found a spider on my wall and I killed it. That motherfucker's dead. You don't pay rent in this house. So get the fuck out. <laughs> Alright. Maki, back to your uh explanation, please. Until one day. When the war suddenly ended. The meteorites, right? You can skip that part. Is that alright? Do you remember anything about the new Hope's Peak Academy? <sighs> As for Hope's Peak Academy... It was later rebuilt by former members of the Future Foundation and resumed operations. They continued to scout students who possessed ultimate level talent. And that's all we know. This doesn't make sense. No, that doesn't make sense. Because what Maki just told me is exactly what I remember. Then what is written in this book? Are these just lies? Or are they... Ugh. I turned to one of the pages, almost without thinking. What's wrong? No. I just... It's just the afterword written on the last afterword. Written on the last page. Hmm. It says that these documents were collected by several esteemed researchers. This is the most thorough, accurate book written on the subject. Hmm. Well, it says this is complete. It says it's the complete history. So what's the problem? The problem is if it's true. History of Hope's Peak. We can't ignore these inconsistencies. We should investigate more. In order to investigate this, I need to know more about Kokichi. I found this in his lab, after all. Hey! Maki, I think I'm gonna go to Kokichi's room now. What? Why Kokichi's room? I'm... I have to verify something. I have to determine which things he said were the truth and which were lies. Okay. Including if he really was a remnant of despair. What are you trying to pull? There's no doubt that he was a remnant of despair, because in that memory, Okay, okay. Well, whatever. If that's not... If that's what you want to do, then I won't stop you. Thank you. Thanks. I wouldn't... I never would have imagined this. That Kokichi's lie might be the breakthrough we need to find the truth. What the uh. fuck? Uh. What is this? What's happening? Oh shit, delayed reaction of the flashback light. Hey, what's going on? Hello. Are you one of the chosen for the Gopher Project? Gopher Project? I saw you on a flyer on the ground. That's the remnants of despair's doing. Gopher Project participants are classified. Are you one of them? I'm really good at remembering faces. Yeah, I get that a lot. Just a case of mistaken identity, I'm afraid. They're all students from Hope's Peak Academy, aren't they? I'm just a normal high school student. I don't have any special talent. I see. But you look just like him. Don't worry about that. Hey, listen, should you really be outside right now? The meteor... I'm not scared of them. Because my dad told me the Future Foundation will take care of those meteorites. If the Gopher Project succeeds, then the meteorites won't fall down. No, I've heard the Gopher Project doesn't exist to save us. Have you heard the rumor? All the participants died in an accident. You're wrong! They didn't die! How would you know that? Because! Those people are the heroes that will save the world, right? The Gopher Project wasn't created to save us. Never mind. Heroes don't die. Heroes don't give up. That's why they're still alive. Because they're heroes. Heroes? Uh. That was a memory, right? N no. It's from the flashback light.
This flashback light has a special effect. Is this... Suichi, just now. Uh, okay. It must have been the flashback light. The one that Monokuma used after Kaito's trial. Huh? After Kaito's trial. Hey. What did you remember? Uh, um... That memory was from when I tried to get away from the Gopher Project and threw away my talent. Oh, yeah. I remember the same thing. But why? Why did Monokuma give us that memory? And will he experience another flashback like the one we just saw? I don't know, but I can't hesitate now. Hey! Maki, let's focus on investigating. There's a lot of things we need to check. Well... You're heading to Kokichi's room, right? And then I'll go with you. Huh? <laughs> You guys go investigate whatever. Me and Maki are gonna go investigate the bedroom. Because? Something about him concerns me. That's why I want to check. She looks worried. Did that flashback light... Do you wanna die? What? You wanna die? Uh, um... It's nothing. Let's go. You little fucking murderer. Even so, a hero, huh? Power of friendship! Alright. I'm guessing we can't fast travel? Yeah, no. Alright, that's not happening. Let's go, Maki. This way. Maki's my friend. I'm gonna moonwalk my way over there. Oh, how are we getting outside? It's gonna have to be through... Can't get past this rubble, right? There's no way past that rubble. Right? Yeah, no, it's gonna be... It's gonna have to be through the, uh, dining hall. Uh, not that way. Oh, there's an X cell over there! Oh wait, this is the outside, then where the fuck... Huh. Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, ah, oh shit. Kokichi, 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 Kokichi. Aha. Oh God. <laughs> He has a horse head! <laughs> You're fucked up, dude. Oh man, look at all this shit. Annoying, suspicious, trustworthy. I'm trustworthy? Oh yeah. Thanks. Huh. Weird. <laughs> you put Kibo as weird. Oh god, this guy's an asshole. So, this is Kokichi's room. I don't know where he got all the stuff, but he hoarded a lot of things. It's unsettling, but we should investigate. You're right. Right. By investigating this room, we might be able to learn about Kokichi. Kokichi said that he was the leader of an organization opposed to the Gopher Project. In that effort, he tried to take the position of Mastermind. The flashback light helped us remember that the organization was the Remnant of Despair. Kokichi was the leader of the Remnants of Despair. But is that the real truth? I feel as though there may be a line there. Well, let's check this. Or maybe the books over here? Box of documents? There's several cardboard boxes filled with documents. Hmm. These look like blueprints. Huh? Blueprints. This is stupid. They're almost drawings of, child of childish fantasy weapons, like ray guns and beam swords. Well... I wonder if the electro hammer and electro bomb blueprints are here. Maybe he drew whatever comes to mind and then selected a few for me to create. Don't understand. Looking at everything, a lot of these childish designs seems impossible to create. That's... It might have been Kokichi's intentions. Huh? His intention? Remember. You could have prepared a few fake blueprints to make the real ones. It's nearly impossible to check all of them, lowering the chance someone would find it. Hmm. Do you mean there might be something important hidden amongst this stuff? You're right. I believe that it's a possibility, but we don't have time to look. Then... Then I'll do it. Huh? Huh? Maki took a seat in front of one of the boxes and began searching the blueprints. Uh, um... Maki? Thank you. Thanks. Okay. No problem. Alright. 
What else we got in here? Collected evidence. Hmm. Ah, this is the hidden camera I set up in the library. And this is the inner tube that was floating in the pool. And this is the book from the Cage Child Seance. Who's gathering all evidence from the past incident? The murder weapons aren't here, but why on earth was he gathering all this? <sighs> no, it's pointless to try and understand what he was thinking. You're right. Perhaps you're right. Rantaro. Oh, can I not? Alright, what about the horse head? The cup pad. Oh, we can check that. Hmm. It's the mono cup pad. They were given all they were given to us for all motives. But the motive videos are switched up. And we each got someone else's. That's true. I don't believe this motive video is Kokichi's. Then... There's no point in looking, is no. there? No, we should check. I want to know what he knew. It would explain his actions. When I touched my fingers to the pad, the video started playing. Oh shit, what we got? Alright! Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video! Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado... What? Kokichi's... Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. He caused mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization, DICE. What the hell does DICE stand for? And by mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. There we go. Mmm. <laughs> I knew he was a little fucking liar. Anyway, Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. These goons were like friends and family. The most important people in his life. But then, a terrible event befell those precious people. What kind of event? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> I knew he was a fucking liar. No. So this was Kokichi's motive video. Why? Why did he have his own motive video? Did he exchange it with someone else? No. Or maybe he was given his own motor video from the start. Like Kurumi. I see. So Kurumi was wasn't the one who got their own wasn't the only one who got their own motor video. Well either way, it doesn't matter anymore. That's true. But the content of the motor video is discouraged is discouraged eh, disconcerting. I can't read. This inconsistent this isn't consistent with the information we've already known about Kokiji. But what can I deduce from it? That he's a little fucking liar. <laughs> I knew he wasn't a bad guy. He's just a fucking asshole. And in his own fucked up way, he was helping us out. Kokichi gathered all those pieces of evidence was coincidence, right? Shit. Alright, well there's stuff over there. What's this? There's a drone. Whoa. Whoa, what was I looking at? Cub pad. Collected evidence. Okay. Collected evidence. And just Maki. Maki's the only one left, right? Yeah. Hey. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. Huh? What is it, Maki? Well. Kind of believed Kokichi. You believe that's someone watching this killing game. What do you mean? What do you think? I'm... Kokichi does have a compelling point. This killing game only makes sense if there's an audience. Why else would there be all these rules designed to make it more interesting? Because... It's just like Junko Inoshima's killing game from the past. God, I'm having like a hiccup. Hmm. Matakuma is peculiarly strict... Particularly strict about upholding the rules and lining up the killing game. Is it because someone's watching? But we're all that's left of humanity, aren't we? I don't understand. Even if he did even if he did say it was the show to show someone, no one else is alive anywhere else, right? I wonder if someone really did infiltrate this place. Uh, okay. That is a mystery. But all mysteries conceal some truth. There's still a truth to find in this killing game. Whether the truth is hope or despair is another matter entirely. Killing game! That covers just about everything in Kokichi's room. Hey. If you're done, you can leave. I'm gonna check the blueprints. But because. 
We're, rely we're relying on... Oh, God. We're relying on you the most, especially in this situation. After all, you're Kaito's sidekick. Maki. Well... But before you go, I found something strange that I want you to look at. Huh? Something strange. Uh, um... This isn't a will. <laughs> what the hell? What is this? Is this a real will? Is this... I think it's a real will, but it wouldn't be surprised surprised if it's fake. He was a liar, after all. But if it's real, why did he leave it? Could it be... He left this information in case his plan failed. Huh? He did? I don't think he would do something like that. Well... Well, we should look inside. Then we'll know more. When I opened the envelope, small pieces of paper fell out. Huh? Hmm? A second message? The wall next to the boiler. And that's all? It's probably another one of his horrible pranks. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. But... I should investigate just in case. It might be an important clue. Okay, okay. Do what you want. Just don't waste any time. He'll be done before you know it. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I should head to the boiler in the garden. Good luck with the blueprints, Maki. You're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Meanwhile, Kibo's out here on his fucking Evangelion shit. Don't die, Kibo. I need you. I don't want you to die. You made it this far, buddy. You can't die. Oh, what the hell is that that I just ran past? <laughs> Monokuma on a rocket? Okay. The wall next to the boiler. What could it be? Perhaps just a prank. Wall next to the boiler. What the hell? Where? Right door. Where am I looking? Oh. Uh, um... Around here. This area used to be covered in grass, but it's been completely removed. It shouldn't be hard to find it uh. now. Huh. Let out. I let out a gasp when I saw it. Huh? Twins B? Oh, God. Is this the second message? What could it possibly mean? If it was written by Kokichi like the other... Are they meant to be read together? Then... In this case, it seems as though the message is incomplete. Two mysterious message. This world is mine, Kukichioma. Twins be. But if this is incomplete, what was Kokichi trying to tell us? Uh. Again? Suichi Saihara. Do you have your ultimate memory back? Yes. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I want to ask you to please cooperate with the Gopher Project. I... I do feel bad about this. I know how much you all wanted to run, even if it meant no longer being ultimates. But those of you who have to live on like this might be the real victims here. But the only people who can go through with this project are you 16 who haven't been infected. The fate of humanity rests upon your shoulders. The fate of humanity? Also, Suichi, what happened to your other eye? <laughs> What's the point? Huh? Even if this ridiculous mission is a success and we all survive, what's the point? Why try so hard to save the seeds of humanity? I don't understand. Perhaps you'll be the ones who will create that point. Huh? It's true that this situation you're all being forced into is harsh. So harsh that you think it'd be better just to die. But I still want you all to live. For those of us who want to live, but can't, 
U16 who can live are hope itself. So please, I don't want to see you give up hope. I want you to keep hope alive. My head. I remembered something. That's it. We were at Hope's Peak, and we participated in the Gopher Project. At that moment, I heard something crumble above me. Are you alright? Suichi, what's wrong? You alright? Uh, Kibo. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry. I experienced a sudden flashback. My and my hand slipped. Then Did you remember too, Kibo? Yeah. Yes. We were at Hope Speak Academy and about to sign on for the Gopher Project. But what is Monokuma thinking? Having us remember that now. As I thought. He's probably trying to make us feel despair again. Despair? No, but these memories. All right, we'll get back to it, Kiba. Are you all right? How's your investigation going? Will you be able to end the killing game on your own? Uh, um... It's going fine. I just, I really just started. There's a lot of areas in the academy we have investigated. Hmm. Areas you can't investigate. Antara's lab is also inaccessible, thanks to Monokuma's ridiculous rules. Okay. That's right. I'm concerned about that too. If only there's some way we can get in. Um, I'll help. Huh? Help. Logical. By destroying the door to his research lab so you can enter it. Well, that's. If you could, that would really help. Please. Then please, head to his lab and I will meet you there. I'm worried. But be careful. Monokuma will be after you for conducting an investigation without his permission. The XSLs may not kill you outright, but they will definitely try to stop you. Uh, okay. Right. Listen closely. If things get dangerous, call me and I'll deal with them. Huh? You're gonna help me too, Kiba? Yeah. I'm not your enemy. That's why I'm helping you with your investigation. But only until the time limit expires at dawn. <laughs> Go, Kibo! God, now you're super cool. Only until the time limit, huh? I suppose he's still hell-bent on destroying this academy. Hmm. Still, you've changed, Kibo. Is it because of the situation, or because he can't hear his inner voice? Right now, I should focus on Rentaro. He died before revealing his ultimate talent, but he seemed to know more than we did. I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term Ultimate Hunt ring a bell for anyone? Before we even remembered that event, he knew about the Ultimate Hunt. But why? Poor Kwai. <laughs> there might be a clue somewhere that will lead us to the Master. Right. I'm gonna do everything I can. No giving up. I won't give up on hope. I need to keep hope alive. And to do that, I need to get inside Rentaro's lab. Congratulations, you unlocked the Kibo gun! You hold down the button when you're near an access cell to fill up the energy. When the energy is filled, the max Kibo will be come to save you. Cool. The Kibo gun! Yeah, just shoot, bang, bang, shooty, shoot. All right. Guess I can get in through this way, right? Oh no, that rubble's gone. All right, well. All right, XSL this way. Okay. We're near XSL. I'm not close enough. Leave it to me, everyone! Get him, Kibo! <laughs> Fuck him up. Alright. Upstairs I go. Where? Over here. With the power of Maki by my side. Get the hell out my way. 
there a, there's no XSL over here, right? Okay. Let's see. This way? Oh, no, not that way. There we go. Out of the way. Stairs again. My nose itches. It's killing me. This hallway would be too small for XSL, right? No! Leave it to me, everyone! Pops! All right. Hey, there's another Monokuma. Just dancing away. Come here. Come here. Alright, Rentara, where's your lab? This way. Ah, oh, shit. For a moment, I thought it was, like, blocked off for me. I gotta get rid of all of them. Shit, thought I can just squeeze on through. Is there... Is there an XL around here? No? Okay. Rentaro's lab. If Kiva breaks down the door... Thanks for waiting. <laughs> that was one hell of an entrance. Listen closely. I'll destroy the door at once. Please stand back, uh, Suichi. Okay. Okay. Uh, please. Well then, I'll leave the rest to you. If there's anywhere else you you would like to you like to access but can't, please call me. I'll blast up an entrance just like I did for you just now. All right, Rantaro. I don't know. I'm gonna give a, a guess of what his ultimate talent is. All right, he definitely, I feel like he definitely had some sort of deal with the Monokuma. Ah, uh, fuck. Ultimate survivor list, ultimate strategist, ultimate, fuck, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe he was a true murderer. Maybe he's the real supreme leader. Does that mean I, I can get in there too? Wait, and where? What are you talking about? Oh. No. No, Rentaro's, ca Rentaro's case first. I need to investigate his lab. Alright, what do we got? Alright. What the hell? Don't tell me this is like... Can he... Is he really like the ultimate murderer or some shit? The ultimate mastermind? Something. He's the true supreme leader? I'm finally in. So this is Rotaro's lab. What kind of room is this? It's almost frightening. What's his talent? I thought I understand once I came here. I don't know. I don't get it at all. Oh. Himiko. Hey, Shuichi. Was that explosion the sound of you breaking down this lab door? That's pretty drastic. No. That wasn't me, it was Kibo. Mm. But what even is this place? It's got an awful atmosphere. Okay. Looks like some kind of puzzle room. Then... So maybe he was the ultimate quiz king, and he got that title by winning game shows. Mm. I'm not sure. We should investigate first. That's fine. Then I shall help you. Be happy! The legendary mage is your psychic. Uh, okay. Yeah, that makes me feel better. Okay. Giant vault. There's a clue somewhere in the academy. Did 
This is a vault, but it doesn't look like a normal vault. This vault door is like a puzzle. Look at the two dials. The dial on the right is labeled A and has a bunch of Chinese zodiac animals on it. And the one on the left is labeled B and has a bunch of different astrological signs on it. So, it looks like if we move both the dials to the right things, the vault will open. Um, it says something about a hint somewhere in the academy. Mm -hmm. Was there really a hint? I don't know. It'll be okay. Well, we don't need to think so hard. We just gotta try every combination. How about that? So, if there's 12 Chinese eggs, uh, Chinese eggs, <laughs> if there's 12 Chinese zodiac animals and 12 astrological signs, then it's just 12 times 12. Uh, um, That's 144. Too many tries, all the com- Too many tries, all the con- Ugh, god. All the combinations are random. What was that? Then, do you know the answer? Cause I don't get it at all. Hey! Wait a minute, let me think. There's an A and B dial. One is Chinese zodiac and the other is with astrological symbols. And a hint somewhere in the academy. I'm sure I can solve this. Hey, Suichi! <coughs> cough, cough. Suichi, I know. I yelled at you just now, but talk to me when you're stuck. My magic. That should help you have the in, in, epiphany. Fuck, I can't read. Epiphany that I'm a legendary mage after all. Uh, okay. Yeah, thank you. There's no time. I have to try. I should inspect these dials. If I can't figure it out, I can ask Himiko. Oh, shit. Hmm. There's a clue somewhere in the academy. Left dial. Can I go check? No, there's no time. Shit. Hmm. Tiger. Bunny, dragon, snake, horse. Hmm. No use, I want to open it. It's not possible to do it blindly. I better talk to Himiko about it. Only things I need to investigate. Alright, Himiko. Give me a hint. A hint somewhere in the academy. I'm assuming it would, it would have been in Kaito's, uh, room. Because that's the whole space shit. Stars and stuff. I wonder if it's like a di diagram or some letters. It'd be a problem if it was too big. I almost got it figured out. Just don't have enough mana. Feel as though I'm right on the cusp of discovering something. Perhaps if I keep talking to Himiko, something will come up. Yeah, I just need one hit. Just give me one hit. Then Label A, 12, B, 12. So we need to think about A, B, the Chinese Zodiac, and astrological signs. Those are clues to opening the vault. And I feel like there's something, but... Uh, just give me, give me one hit. Clues somewhere in this academy, but I can't think Don't of any. Tell me. Maybe it was hidden really well. No. No, it must be a hint of some kind. Be no point if no one saw it. Could it be some psychological blind spot? Mm. Psychological blind spot? That's a magical concept. Huh? Magical concept. Because I'm a mage. There's a technique mages use when casting spells. Okay. For example, when they cast big spells. We add a bunch of flashy stuff over the tops, over top of stuff. How about that? We have the audience focus on all that stuff to hide the source of our magic. Source of magic, like the method behind it. <laughs> of course, my magic's very advanced, you know. Even if the source of magic for my spells was leaked, not just anyone could copy them. I usually don't need to hide it, but it's better safe than uh, sorry. Okay. Right. Okay. Anyways, maybe the clue was hidden from us like that. You probably already saw it, but. Don't know the clue just yet. Hmm. Something we already saw. You know? Oh shit. I was about to just check Run Tower's like birthday. That's it. Himiko's right. This world is in his mind, Cookie Jumma. Oh god. That's not fair. <laughs> When Gota first read the message, uh, I just had like a stroke. When Gota first read the message, it said Horse A, but maybe Kokichi added to the message. Was just a diversion? 
thinking about that way, the other message, which is Twins B. Those two messages are clues. Yeah, 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 thanks. So it's Gemini and Horse. You wanna know? I stopped on Horse because I was thinking about the horse head in Kokichi's bed. <laughs> Cancer, here's Gemini. There we go. All right. Yes, it's opened. I don't know how, but it opened. But what did all this mean? Is that all right? The hint in the academy is this is the message that Kokichi wrote. It was a clue for these dials. If I remember correctly, the original message was written over. Remember. Worse A. Kokichi added more to it. But that was just a diversion. Okay. Horse A was actually the complete oh clue. My. Oh, I see. So A dial should be on the horse. Hmm. So the Chinese zodiac on dial A was horse. The other hint was hidden in the rare garden. Rare? Rear garden. Remember. Said twins I B. See. Got it. So Gemini. That's it. Yes, the astrological zodiac on dial B was Gemini. Yeah. So that's what it meant. Thanks to your deductions, everything's all cleared up. Why? But why did Kokichi add all that stuff to it? That's true. He was trying to make himself seem like he was the mastermind. He needed us to believe it. He was trying to be the mastermind. Uh -huh. Causing us problems even after he's dead? Such a pain. Um Let's see what's in the vault. If it was if it was this difficult to get in here, there must be something important inside. I'm getting nervous. Is it okay if I barf first? Do you feel nauseous when you're nervous? Whatever. I peeked into the open vault and found a USB stick. That Monokuma pattern must mean there's something here, but how do we check inside? I could use that thing, and it's this lab. The laptop! Okay. It looks like it still works. If I put the USB stick in here, I should be able to check the data. I grabbed the USB from the safe and plugged it into the laptop. I found a single file. Could it be... Video. I opened the video file. Hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? Taking my surprise, I gasped and stopped the video without thinking. Hey! What is this? Sorry. That was Rantaro, right? I think. He probably recorded it here before he died. No. No, that couldn't be the case. The video was clearly recorded in Rantaro's lab. If I remember correctly. But we were only able to get inside this room just now. No. It was supposed to be open after Gonta's case, but because Rantaro was already dead, it was locked permanently. But thanks to Kibo, we were able to get inside. But... Knowing all of that, how can Rantaro have recorded a video in this room? Mm. That might be true, but shouldn't we check the video first? Uh, okay. Yeah, right. I turned to the laptop once again, and with a trembling hand, I played the video. I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Guess I should start from the beginning. First things first, I am you. No tricks, no actors. It's you. The reason you don't remember recording this is because that memory is erased. Think of this video as a message from the Rantaro before you lost your memory to the Rantaro after you lost your memory. So, let's get to it then. The reason I recorded this footage. I won the right to a special perk for participating in the killing game. Okay, so he definitely was part of another killing game and i feel like i feel like he had some kind of agreement with monokuma or the mastermind part of that perk is this video message monokuma said he was gonna make some kind of puzzle for me but the fact that you're watching this means that you've solved it already also you can't share this with anyone if you catch monokuma shooing anyone away from you that's why there's another part to this perk. Something you get at the start of the game. I bet you know what I'm talking about. Something you've had from the ah, start. Ah, shit. Yeah. Fuck. 
Damn it. I dropped something on my desk. That's not good. Don't worry though. It's all fine. What the hell are you doing over there? Sorry, my dog is just like being weird. Go sit down. Now, I thought that if you were smart, you'd have used it to end the killing. Game. But if you're watching this, that obviously didn't work out. Life's never easy, huh? Well, anyway, that's the perk. Other than that, you're just like all the others. Hmm. So is the perk the, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit? The, uh, first blood perk? You go in, they wipe your memories, and you start killing. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case, this killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Now, the important part of that rule is that... <laughs> Looks like they didn't want me saying that, huh? Guess you'll have to solve that little mystery. But hey, you're smart. I know you can do it. Oh, there is one more thing. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. I guess that. You're the ultimate survivor. Yes! You survived the last killing game. I fucking called it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm a fucking genius. Ultimate survivor list. Call that motherfucker. Called him out on his bullshit. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I said it. I said it streams ago. When I said, maybe because he replayed the killing game, he's the ultimate survivalist. Fuck. Holy shit. I'm so fucking smart. That's why you get this perk. The survivor perk. But it's not all fun and games. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. And never forget. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. You wanted this killing game. So you can end it, right? No matter what. Rentaro's video message. Huh? What was that? This isn't the first killing game? A killing game that he wanted? What's that mean? Suichi. Why did- what did all that mean? Who was Rentaro Amami- uh, Amami- Amami- Can't even say his name. If I remember correctly- He said he survived the last killing game, and the video is part of the survivor perk. So I'm assuming either he was moved from Gopher Project to Gopher Project, or maybe somewhere in this academy there's like some type of hibernation chamber. Then he was the ultimate survivor, an expert, an expert at death games. Why? Then why did he die so quickly? Because he's a loser. Remember. Remember what he said. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. What's that mean? The one that was coming for him. Were you talking about Kaede? No. No, she didn't know Rentaro's identity. She thought he was the mastermind. Hmm. Then who is the one that knew Rentaro's true identity? Could it be the real mastermind would have known? Then. In other words, the mastermind hidden in this academy set up Rentaro to be killed. Uh, okay. I believe so. Well. For now. Hmm. And he said he wanted this killing game. Why would he want that? If he hadn't done such a stupid thing, he probably would have been killed. Another killing game. Why was he even participating in the first place? What was the other killing game? Because the killing game is... I don't know. There was another thing. When Taro said his survivor perk had another part, right? What was that other part? You're right. He said that it had... Said that he had it at the start over the game. Probably... Probably keeping his memories, right? But when we found his body, if I remember correctly, all he had on him was his room key and the monopad. And that monopad was the same student handbook we had. Then, then it might still be left in his dorm room. Okay. Yes, it could be. I never imagined Rantaro, the first victim, would become would come up again like this. Uh. Ah shit! More memories.
Yo, Shuichi, I heard you're finally gonna take part in the Gopher Project. Look at these fucking dude bros. Yeah. Why are they so tall and what's wrong with that guy's neck? <laughs> are you okay? Are you sure you're not overdoing it? You're the one who's overdoing it. You should be resting at home. You know I can't do that. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to go to school. It won't get any better if I rest anyway. Hope's Peak Academy is working hard to create an antivirus. Even if they do find a cure, the meteorites are still going to be a problem for us. Hey, man, don't look so sad. You're about to go on an adventure, right? Now that I think about it, 16 boys and girls going on a space trip together. Shut your mouth, classmate number one. You guys gonna do it? Yeah, well, there's only one guy left. That's all I'm talking about. Gotta repopulate the Earth somehow. What are you guys talking about? Congrats, Shuichi. I heard there are some hot girls there. I told you, don't look so sad. I don't know if I can stand it. I'd have to leave everyone behind. You have to go. I'm begging you. Huh? <laughs> Shuichi, you're our pride. You know that? <laughs> yeah, you have to do it. For us. We're leaving everything to you. If things get too rough, then just remember all the fun times we had together. So, don't give up. You're our hope. I'm everyone's... That memory. Why did I have to remember my friends now all the times? Uh, um, this is Monokuma's. Uh, Monokuma's? Wow. This is Monokuma's doing. He made us remember this. But why? Why make us remember that? That memory is no cause for despair. Yeah. That's right. There's no way we can give up. I promise I do my best for them. Yeah. So there's no way I can give up. So, we're looking for the other part of Rantaro's survivor perk, right? Leave it to me. I'll check every nook and cranny of this room, with my magic, of course. Breathing hard, Himiko ran off. What does all this mean? What are lies? What is the truth? Himiko's a friend of mine. <laughs> Alright. So, I think I'm gonna try and check out the basement. Because we still never got into that room, right? There's no time to be standing around. We only have until dawn to investigate. I need to inspect every inch. That's true. I should go there next. Keep it destroys the door like last time. I should be able to get in there. To the library! Suichi! Suichi, I finally found you. Huh? Sumugi, what's wrong? Um... I was checking Kaito's research lab up on the sixth floor. Sith? What is On the this? sixth floor. He was attacked, demolished a wall of the school, and caused a new room to appear. Uh, um, a new room. Yeah. And it's a really weird room, too. Anyways, come with me. Smoogie spoke almost encouragingly, then walked on ahead. Oh shit, did not mean to skip that. What did he say? Uh, a weird room, huh? Can't ignore that. Suppose I have no choice but to go there later on. Okay. Onward to the weird room. If I can only remember where his... Oh, his lab is all the way on the first floor. Oh, shit. Alright, just gotta make sure I don't run into any exosols on the way there. Because I am running out of time. Just gonna go this way. This way. Four. All right, on the first floor. Just gonna make our way over here. Three. Damn it. How do I? Ooh. How the hell do I get over there if I don't... 
Oh, okay, it's this way. All right. Come on. There we go. With the power of friendship! <laughs> God, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Turn the corner, he's like, I'm right here. Okay. Time to run up these long ass steps. No time to turn around. It's okay. I know we're making it somewhere. Uh. Okay, she said another room appeared? What, in his- in his lab? Oh, shit. Oh my god. Is that the sleeping pods? <laughs> A new room. Must be that. Right? This room's really weird, isn't it? I can't figure okay. it out. I'll try looking around. Oh my god, did I really just call this shit out? I went through the large hole in the wall and stepped into the next room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is 16 pods. This is where we were sleeping. This is. Hey! Right? This one's really weird, isn't it? I can't figure Could it out. It be... I suppose it's possible that. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh. Thanks for the follow, Abby Shadow. I greatly appreciate it. I hope your day's been going fine. Well. I say day, but it's probably like midnight. <laughs> For me, it's like early in the morning. Well then, let's begin then. Wait. Hold on, I'm not mentally ready yet. <laughs> well, robots probably don't need to mentally prepare themselves the way humans do. Oh. Actually, do robots even need to put need to be put to cold sleep? That's robophobic. I'm still a teenager, just like you all. I would feel lonely if I were the only one still awake. Like I thought. But is it really okay? This will be my first time in cold sleep, so I'm just plain nervous. <laughs> it's the same for all of us. <laughs> but you know, it's a man's dream to leave Earth behind and travel across the stars. Ew. What a careless guy. Fucking moron! A fucking idiot more like it. Jesus. Mew, I love you. Rest in peace, Mew. I miss you. What? Hey, who are you calling an idiot? Oh, jeez. Okay, break it up. We gotta be friends here, so don't start fighting with each other. Oh. Friends, you say? Coming from the murderer. <laughs> He's like, hmm, friends. Oh, I'll, I'll make you friends with my sister, all right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're friends from here on out. Even though you just met us and you don't even know what we're like. Because. Well, the 16 of us are going to be here together from now on. Yeah. It might be hard, but let's try to take it on one step at a time. We might fight at first, but we shouldn't forget about believing in each other. Yeah, that's right. We all went through such a difficult time, so I think we can all become good friends. Right? What do you say? Mm. Go to agree. Go to want to be friends with everyone. That is correct. After we wake up from cold sleep, we'll have no choice but to live together. That's right. So, we'll all... So, we all better get along. <laughs> we're already friends. Even Atuma says that we're friends. That sounds like a pain, but okay, I guess. Hey. Hey, what about you? Huh? Me? Uh, okay. Mm, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. I see. I'm glad. Huh. No matter how many times we fight, we smile in the end. That's what true friendship is. It's cool if we could be like that, all 16 of us. That's right! Yes, I agree. As long as we leave the degenerate males out. All right, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Even in death, you're still ragging on me. Huh. I think us guys should be included, too. Oh, right! Then let's do it. It'll probably be a couple of years before we all see each other again. But let's all work together and do our best. That's right. Yes, because we are humanity's last hope. All right! All right, then let's all get some shut-eye. I'll see you guys later.
You know, even if the killing game didn't start, wouldn't Kyo just start killing people anyways? <laughs> so close to a hundred friends for my sister. Fucking what the hell? The most shadiest guy ever. I remember now this room. It, it can't be. This was the room we all went into cold sleep. Then, Tsumugi, you remember too? Okay. This is the room where we were put to cold sleep for the Golfer project. It's where the 16 of us first met. But, but back then, we all said we'd work together. We promised we'd become friends. Except for Kyo, of course, because he's a little murderer. <laughs> and now we're killing each other? Why did it have to end up like this? That's... This is Monokuma's fault. Monokuma and the true mastermind controlling him. Um... The real mastermind's hiding in this academy, making us do all this, right? Right? Hey, Suichi. Let's find him no matter what, and end the killing game for good. Um... And then, let's finally fulfill that promise we all made. There's a lot of us missing now, but it's not too late. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Let me just check what this is. There's some documents left on the table. Huh? A gopher project participants list. Um... Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. I found it when I was here earlier. Uh, um... Anything of peculiar? Um... All our profiles are written here. Most of it is stuff we already know, but there's not that important. <sighs> it's about Kaede. Huh? What? What about Kaede? Seems like... She has a twin. Huh? 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 A twin? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like she has a younger twin sister. It says her sister was adopted by a relative and they barely had any contact, but... Uh... I'm still a little worried because Junko Inoshima also has a twin sister. Yeah, but Mukuro's dead. Oh god, I miss Mukuro so much. God, if you ever read Danganronpa If, Mukuro is so fucking amazing. I love Mukuro. Uh, okay. True, but... That reminds me. On top of that, Junko used her twin sister to run her killing games from behind the scene. Oh. I mean, it's probably just a coincidence, but I thought I should mention it to you, Suichi. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. This is the first time I'm hearing that Kaede had a twin. But is that relevant? It doesn't really matter, does it? She had a twin the whole time! Seems like their battle has gotten more intense. I wonder if we're gonna be okay. Seems like the building is gonna break soon. If I remember Kibo said he's giving us until dawn, but... but... But there's a chance that Monokuma will defeat Kibo before that, right? Okay. Either way, we should hurry. What should we do? What are we gonna do? I'm... There's a place I would like to investigate. And it's called the Library! I found it right after the killing game started, but it's been closed this whole time. Could it be? Do you mean... Okay. Yes, the hidden room in the library. With Kaede's help, I'm positive. Kaede, whoa. With Kibo's help, I'm positive I can get inside. Certainly. Oh, you're right. I'll go with you. The power of friendship. Now just gotta run ourselves all the way down there. Would you like to leave? Yes, I would. Very much, thank you. Can I just jump down? Break my legs? Oh shit. They should put like a pole up here so you can just slide down. I don't even know why they made a spiral care a spiral care stase. Wow. A spiral staircase. <laughs> Cause you can't really turn your camera that quick. You just gotta like hug the wall. Alright. Now with the power of friendship. This way. Follow me, Samugi. I will lead us to victory. Alright. Uh, wrong turn. This way. Let's, do this! Let's not. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. Leave it to me, everyone. Get him, Kibo. Fuck him up. There you go. With the power of friendship at our disposal, we shall move all this shit out of our way.
we get to finally see what's in the, uh, what's in the library. Hey, Maki! 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 What are you down here? <laughs> I knew you would come here. I've been waiting for you this whole entire time, Suiji. If you are investigating, reinvestigating old areas, you have to come here eventually. Hey. But before you do, listen to what I have to say. Okay. Is this about the blueprints? Have you locked? Have you locked? Have you looked through all of them? Okay. Yeah, I have. But something caught my eye that worried me. <sighs> Although I'm not sure how significant it was. All right, then spit it out. <laughs> Why do I gotta ask you? Um. Hey, Maki. What's with all those blueprints you were looking through? Okay. I found a design that worried me a little. It was drawn with too much detail. Uh, um... It looks like a vacuum. What a peculiar shape. Weirdo. It's a machine that sucks up bugs called the Bug Vac. Huh? A Bug Vac. Uh... Okichi came up with a design, but I thought there weren't any bugs outside of Gunta's lab. No. Now that you mentioned it... Oh, that's because of tiny bugs. Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen on the Academy. Yeah, going to think that too, but... When out walking in courtyard, going to think he's seen Tiny Buck. But Buck's so tiny, even going to cannot see it. And going to have 20... 0 0.625 eyesight. So maybe going to make a mistake, but going to think. No, maybe going to just see things. Remember. Gonta was always seeing small bugs. What? But Gonta said he was just seeing things. Oh, yeah. Maybe Kokichi asked Mew to invent that to see for himself. Huh? So Mew actually made this? Okay. After I found this design, I went to Mew's research lab. Well... And I found a prototype that she was still working on. Hey. This is it. It may be a prototype, but it seems to be functionally ready. The suction function is already finished. Yeah, I, I bet I bet that'll be the first thing she would work on. Knowing Mew. <laughs> I'm still not going to forget that moment where she's like, Here, Suichi, here's a bunch of jerk-off things to give you. And here's a video of me. Now go to your room. And I'm like, what the hell? Why, Mew? As she said... <laughs> as she said that, Monkey flipped the switch on the machine and... The room... Has a pretty strong suction. <laughs> Say that with all the excitement. With this, you can vacuum up all bugs around you at once. Nothing's in it. Yeah, it looks like it was used several times, but it doesn't seem like they caught it. Aki sighed and turn off the bug catcher. I see. This done. Then does that mean that there's no bugs? It was just going to his imagination after all. Okay. That's probably the case. Well, even if there were bugs, I don't know how that would be a clue. Sure, whatever. But I wanted to tell you, especially since I spent a lot of time investigating it. Uh, okay. Right. Thank you. She's like, well, I want to tell you, especially since I waste my fucking time doing this shit, you better appreciate me. Were those bugs really just gone to his imagination? There must be more to it than that. Bug vac! Ah. Guys, we're here? Hey, Amiko, you found anything? Ah. You were all gonna meet up, why didn't you tell me? Ah. I could've found everyone, so I started to get worried. Uh, oh, I'm um. sorry, Himiko. Hey. And where were you until now? Hey! You went to Rantaro's room, right? Did you find anything? What's with this exp- <laughs> I love how she's like, Haha, <laughs> of course I did. What's with you guys and making me ask? Come on, all our lives are on the line here. Um. Hey, Himiko, did you find anything in Rantaro's room? Shut up! I'm not gonna tell you. Stop asking me. Shut up. Leave me alone. Huh? Why? If I say I didn't find anything, you're gonna decide I'm useless, aren't you? I won't let that happen. So I guess you didn't find anything. It's okay. Don't worry. I wasn't expecting anything from you anyways. Ooh! <laughs> Maki, what the hell? What did you say? That's just as bad. If it isn't in Rantaro's room, then where is the survivor perk? We didn't find anything on his body. Did he hide it somewhere before he died? I'm telling you. The survivor's perk must have been the fact that he can keep some of his memory. The fact that he starts up and he's like, Hey guys, 
you know about this ultimate hunt? No, just me. Oh, okay, never mind. Forget about it. But hiding it in your own room would have been a safer place for it. Did someone take it? What's wrong? Suichi, what's wrong? You're right. Hey, we're gonna check what's behind the hidden door, right? Let's hurry up and do you're it. Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I guess we can check it. The hidden door is where Antara was investigating just before he died. There might be something in there that would be of value. First, I should inspect the hidden door. Inspect the hidden door, just blow it the fuck up. The hidden door is revealed when the bookcase swings open. This door has been locked this entire time. Probably except for the key that uh, Kokichi had, the key card. With the Kibo's help, we might be able to open it. Um, the door that can only be opened with the car key must be something here. Mm. Maybe the mastermind's hiding behind this hidden door. That's true. Then if we kill them, we can end this killing game. No. No, I told you, we can't kill them. If you do that, we be the same. <coughs> Samugi? Huh? Ah, shit. You. you guys have been doing whatever you feel like, huh? Yeah, pretty much. You can't just go anywhere you want without permission. Father will get mad. I don't like it when father gets mad. So before he finds out about this, I'm gonna destroy you all! Damn it! Everyone run! Ooh! Ah, I can't move! Keep it with the dynamic entry. Just stay put for now. Kibo, you saved us. As a reward, I'll use my magic to turn you into a real boy. See. So you need, so you need me to open the door, right? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, please. Hey! Are you ignoring me? Well, I guess there's nothing I can do since I need to charge my. Listen closely. Please stand back. It's dangerous to be too close. Watch him charge up his mega buster. Hidden door is completely destroyed. Yes. Door's open. We can finally enter. The mastermind's hiding in there, no doubt about it. But is it okay to just go in there? What if we get attacked by something? It's okay. Then we'll just have to strike back. Oh god. <laughs> Maki's out here awakening the inner demon. I I would join you, but I need to hold off the exocells. Well then. Suichi, it's all up to you. Please catch the mastermind no matter what. Uh, okay. Okay, got it. The moment of truth. The mastermind is in here. That certainly is possible. We should be careful. <laughs> just Maki just getting ready. Oh god. Then Alright, let's go. Well I'll go first. I'm the only one who can fight if anything happens. Oh, you mean that you're the only one who can get to the mastermind fast enough to slit their throat, huh? I guess. Hell yeah, please. Led by Maki, we walk through the hidden door. Oh, look at this. Isn't this lovely? Hmm. This is a hidden room. It's much bigger than I expected. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's too many hearts and shit around here. And there's a... <laughs> there's a giant door that's locked safe with a key card. Are you trying to tell me that this is where we would restart the population? Hmm? Lock the door so nobody can interrupt? You need a key card. It's only one. This is the hidden room. It's much bigger than I expected. Wait. This room's atmosphere. Seems like... Does it remind you of the remnants of despair that, am that admire Junko? I knew it. The mastermind behind this killing game must be hiding in there. Why you? Where? Where's the mastermind hiding? <laughs> huh? Huh? What is it? Was that Monokuma's voice just now? Yahoo! Welcome to the final stage. Guess it's time for the final boss to make their debut. What? What? Where's that voice coming from? It's time to 
time for the curtain call. There's something draped in fabric. It looks suspicious. I cautiously lifted up the fabric and... Yeah, I expected it. A Monokuma head. You found me. Or rather, you just found a place that you were meant to find. At any rate, you can't end the killing game. The killing game was born from the womb of despair. Starting with the killing game at Hope Speak Academy, created by the ultimate despair, they're all connected. The killing game is despair itself. What is this? <laughs> all right, Monohead, speak. Hey. Are you Monokuma? Hey. Um... Of course, but I'm not just I'm not just any Monokuma. <laughs> I'm the overseer of the killing game and the source of all Monokumas. <laughs> So, I've been given a special name, Mother Kuma. Mother Bear? <laughs> Why not Papa Bear? They call me Papa Bear. <laughs> Mother Kuma? Then... So then, the machine that makes spare Monokumas is in the academy. Yeah? Yeah, oh yeah, that's me. Here. You see this amazing machine behind me? It creates spare Monokumas. All I gotta do is copy over my thoughts. Yahoo! Presto, I give birth to myself. A spare Monokuma? Can it be made easily? I thought they were advanced robots. No way! Yeah, that's why I'm so amazing. No. No? That might be a lie. He's trying to trick us with fake information. That's true. Anyone can see this thing is given too much information far too conveniently. No way! But it's not a lie. I can make spares really easily. That's true. Could you do that right now? Right? Yeah, try to make a new Monokuma. <laughs> do it, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What's wrong? What? I can't birth a Monokuma for someone who doesn't love me. What about after it's born, huh? Did you think about that? Take some responsibility, damn it. Out. Whatever, just give birth. Birth review! No, I don't I don't want to. I'm not gonna birth one for someone I don't like because they'll tell me to. This is stupid. Hurry up and give birth to a Monokuma. This is some freaky shit. <laughs> Are you listening? We said give for This is weird. Hey now. He's totally ignoring us. I wonder if the things one of the thing about the spares was a lie after all. A lie, huh? But why lie about that? I mean, I would assume that it does have the ability to do that, but it probably needs the mastermind's permission first, right? There has to be some motive to lie. I guess I wasn't completely wrong. I mean, this is the room where things are getting birthed. The fucky room. Hey. Hey, I know what the Monokuma. Let's hurry up and search this room. You're right. You're right. Mastermind's hiding in here somewhere. Hey, Suichi. Suichi, don't just stand around. Look for the Mastermind. Uh, okay. Yeah. This must... <laughs> Can't believe we survived this long. Just to be bossed around by a bunch of females. This is every man's dream. That's right. First, we have to see if the Mastermind's hidden, hiding anywhere. There should be other clues here as well. Alright, well, there's a garbage can. <laughs> a monopad. It's covered in blood. Monopad, and there's blood on it. Why? Who's monopad this? Why is there a blood stain on it? Might be Rantaro's, right? Fucking Himiko says she didn't find anything, so Mastermind must have taken his pad. Probably had the survivor perk on it. That's... I don't know, but we should inspect it closely. If this is a student's handbook, the name of the owner should show up. Started up the monopad, and... Huh? This monopad is the survivor perk. That means, in addition, in addition to the video, Rentaro's survivor's perk was the other monopad. N no. Is this a map of the Ultimate Academy? Hmm. Does this, like, give him ideas to kill people? The place that's open with mysterious objects are labeled too. As well as the hidden room. Which means this is a complete map of the Ultimate Academy for gifted juveniles. Hmm. Trantar was given this map as his, part of his survival perk. That's why he knew about the hidden door. What's this? Clue to end the huh? killing game. 
The mastermind who is behind the killing game is hiding somewhere within the academy. Your best chance of exposing them is when Monokuma needs a spare. At that time, the mastermind will go to the library's hidden room. To prove this hint is accurate, I will predict something. The first thing you will remember is the ultimate hunt. Only share this information with people who you know you can trust. How you determine that will mean your life or death. Taro. A hint to yourself from yourself. That was a part of the survival perk. That's why Rontaro brought it up. Because he... Because he read this hint. Guess he was trying to find people he can trust. Hey, I have a question. It might sound a little weird. You, uh, you guys ever heard of, uh, 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 Ultimate Hunt? Yeah, no, no, okay, just me? Alright, cool. That's exactly what Monokuma wants us to do, so... What else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it, too? That's it, then. Can I even trust myself? Can he be trusted? Even he didn't completely believe, but he had no choice. That's why he went to the library. Hmm. That's what, that's what all started this. Survivor mm. perk. Monopad isn't the student's handbook. It looks like something else. Well. But is that a blood stain? Whose blood is it? Probably the blood of the person he killed to get it. That's. I was gonna check that. If I can determine whose blood this is, well, uh, we'll be that much closer to the truth. Mm. How are you gonna check that? That's. The camera Kaede and I set up here is to do. We can deduce it from pictures. That picture is in Kokichi's room. That's right. That punk gathered evidence from past cases just so he could. I bet he collected that picture too. By the way. So which one do you need? There were several pictures, right? That's. The last picture taken of Rentaro, the one in which he was carrying, uh, he was trying to remove the camera. I see. The one where the camera lured him with the flash. Okay. Got it. I'll go retrieve it, so I'll let you handle this area. But... Maki, be careful. Keep on the exocells are fighting. Hey. Hey, who do you think I am? Do you want to die? No, maybe. By your hands, I'll gladly take it. <laughs> I finally reached the point where I can tell that was a joke. Or maybe it's a kink. Choke me! <laughs> This is a trash That's can. True. I should investigate this too. I'm positive there's some clue here. I open the trash can huh? casually. Let out a surprise gas. Huh? What is this? This thing in the trash can. It's much heavier than I thought. Why? A shot put ball? Why is it here? But there's no blood on this shot. It can't be the one that Kaede used to kill Lantaro. Hmm. In that case, where did this come from? Why is it here? Ah. Oh. Oh, and this. I noticed something sticking to the shot put ball. Uh, um... Some cloth fibers from something else? It looks pink. Or maybe white. Inspecting it closely, I can see several pink fibers. Okay, it is pink. They're pink. Wait, that means the shot... I understand. I know how to pin down the mastermind of the killing game. Shot put ball with pink fiber. Okay. What's over here? We're finally able to... Okay, that's where we came in from. I couldn't tell. I thought it was just, like, closed or something. Of course, none of us had that, so we couldn't get in before. But it doesn't look like there's car key. Blah, blah. Looks like there's rubble. Which means you don't need key to leave. In that case... Placing dust on the card reader wouldn't have mattered if they came out from this side. Oh, that was a clue in itself. Oh, cool. I didn't think that. Speak to me, Mother Kuma. What? Birth one? Acknowledge the ones that are yours before you make me birth another. I wonder if what it says about spares is really true. Here we go. Where's the mastermind hiding? Please, Mother Kuma? Maybe we ask you where the mastermind <laughs> May we ask you where the mastermind's hiding? Wait, why? Why are you being so proper? House. 
I can't share info that important. It would make the killing game less exciting. Oh. Thank you for the follow. Uh, how do I pronounce this? Mer... I, I don't know how to pronounce this. Mervamon fan? Ver Vermin? <laughs> how do you want me to pronounce this? I'm sorry. But thank you for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. Alright. I can't share info that important. It would make the killing game less exciting. There's no doubt that this mastermind's room is definitely for the remnants of despair. Yeah? Oh. Is it that obvious? Well, when you're right, you're right. The one you're all looking for comes to this room quite often. Quite often. <laughs> but they're not stupid enough to let you guys catch them in the act. What did you say? It then be. the mastermind isn't here? And if they come frequently, then... <laughs> I think my hint just finally dawned on Suiji. Hint? Why? Why are you giving us hints? Do you want us to find the truth? Yeah? What if I do? As long as it makes the killing game more interest more entertaining, anything goes. Well, that's... Even if it ends the killing game? Huh? End the killing game? Oh, you. Haven't I been saying it over and over this whole time? Yahoo! The killing game is eternal. It doesn't matter what you do. This killing game will absolutely, positively never end. <laughs> the killing game is a symbol of despair. How can something so fun just end? <laughs> I love how Mana Mother Kuma is like, The killing game's eternal. It will never end. And it's been like, how many years since the last Danganronpa game? <laughs> how many years since this came out? <laughs> like, it will never end. Oh, but we haven't had a new game yet. <laughs> well, I guess we technically did. We had the uh, collection come out on Switch, right? I think it's out now, or maybe it's coming out. But it's still not like a, it's not like a new game. It's kind of just like a collection. <laughs> The killing game is a symbol of despair. How can something so fun just happen? Huh? What do you mean? Huh? Oh, you don't need to fret over what that means. All meaning aside, it's the truth. <laughs> the best thing you guys can do is just accept that truth. Clues to the mastermind. All right, finish investigating everything I needed to. Yeah. What's going on? I can't find the mastermind anywhere. They weren't hiding here. Did you find anything, Suichi? Uh, um... I've inspected everything I found, but I feel like there's still something hiding here. Uh... Again? Another memory. God, my seat is starting to get uncomfortable. I've been sitting here for a while. What? What? This is... Hey! Hey, Suichi! Looks like you're finally woken up from a long sleep. Huh? What? Uh, Monokuma! Huh? Although we're meeting for the first time, you already know me. Well, of course you do. I'm famous after all. Hope's Peak Academy's Killing Game was the most watched event in television history. Damn it. Why is Monokuma here? It can't be. Hi, hello. Oh, but it can. This is where it all begins. A brand new killing game, courtesy of the Gopher Project. Huh? Killing game. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that the Gopher Project was made by Remnant themselves? Oh, God. Oh, no, we played right into their trap. Well, now. now then, from here, things will proceed how they usually do. You'll all lose your memories and forget everything that happens up to this point. The stakes of the Gopher Project, the hopes and dreams that humanity entrusted to you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you'll forget that you're the last 16 survivors of the human race, too. The bonds of trust you forge, your disgusting promises of friendship. All that's gonna go bye-bye when the killing game starts. It's no use. What? Why are you doing this? Hmm? There's no point in asking me questions. You're gonna forget everything anyways. Hey! Who's behind this? Who are you? Juko Inishima's dead. And like I said, there's no point. You'll just forget that too. Damn it! You're lying. 
How can I ever forget this? Ta-da! The blackout light. Huh? What? Hey. The blackout light has the power to induce total memory loss. The light it emits simulates the, the oh god, the bacillal nuclei and the hippocampus. Hey. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Nope. I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna use this light. Then I'm gonna shove all of you into lockers while you're unconscious. <laughs> Looking and then the killing, killing game will begin. Uh. I remember my final lost memory. It, it can't be. That was from just after we woke up from cold sleep. Uh, okay. Yes, a memory right before the killing game began. We were each woken up by Monokuma, and our memories were taken. And we were forced to do all this? This is... We were gonna work together. We promised to become friends. Why, you... Monokuma, I'll never forgive you. That's terrible. Me too. I'll absolutely never forgive him. You're right. I feel the same way. But right now, we need to investigate. Dawn's coming. <sighs> then I leave things here to me. Go check the other places. Huh? What? Mm. You feel like there's still a mystery here, right, Suichi? Then I'll find it for you. We're all trying to work together and find the truth, but I haven't found any clues yet. Okay. I need to recover my honor. But Himiko, will you be okay by yourself? Cut it out. That's a stupid question. Right. Since I got the memory since I got that memory back, I'm now overwhelmed with anger. Hmm. With my skills, I'll catch the dastardly Monokuma and the mastermind. You're right. I understand. Then I'll leave it to you, Himiko. Okay. What? Wait, really? You seriously gonna leave it to me? All by myself? What should we do? If you're not confident enough to do it yourself, then uh, you don't you don't need to force yourself. No. No, I'm okay. Since you believe in me, I need to give it my all. Okay. I'll find the clue, even if it uses up every last drop of my magic and kills me. Hey now. Don't say such unlucky things. It'll be okay. I'm just letting you know how determined I am. You guys should believe in me and go on ahead. <laughs> Thank you. That really makes me feel better. Himiko. What should we do? What should we do? With how little time we have left, it's probably best to split up, right? That's true. Yes. We need to split up and check all the labs one more time. If we miss a clue of any of them, it would most likely be that one. That one? Which one? All right! Got it. Let's go. That one. Hmm. Probably Gonta's lab, maybe, because of the bugs? Okay. You too, Himiko. That one? What the hell are you talking about? Well, it has to be on the first floor, right? When I left the hidden room, we saw Akiba on the XSL in a fierce battle. You all right? Are either of you injured? Uh, okay. I'm okay. W what? The hidden door has been blocked by rubble. No. Himiko! Ah, oh, shit. The hidden door has been blocked out by rubble. We can't get in or out. Is Himiko trapped? Uh, okay. I, I think so. Kibo. Kibo, can you do something? Hmm. I can destroy the debris, but without knowing Himiko's status. Unfortunately. It could be dangerous for me to just recklessly attack it. Stop it! Then, are you saying we should just leave her there? You can't! I couldn't do such a thing. We're friends! But... But I'm not strong enough to lift the debris. Then... Let's use the Exocell. Huh? What? What? Use the Exocell? How? That's impossible! We don't have any more of Mew's inventions, and the Monocubs are in the Exocells. That's wrong! Exactly. We're gonna get Monokuma and the Monocubs to do it. Incomprehensible. Monokuma and the Monocubs? Remember. They don't want this either. Their objective is to continue the killing game. Please wait. Are you suggesting that we surrender to them and continue the killing game? Stop! But Himiko's in danger. Rescuing her should be our first... No. No. We're gonna end this killing game. Um... What do you mean? You have a plan of some sort? Okay. Yes, I do. 
just requires a little bit of detective work. We need to investigate some more. What? What about Himiko? That's... I'm worried about her. But we have to trust that she's okay right now. We trusted her when she said to leave it... Ev blah, 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 I can't read. We trusted her when she said to leave everything to her. If we just stand around here, we're not respecting her wishes. Okay, Himiko is the ultimate magician. I bet she'll use her magic to find a clue in the room. That's just plain amazing. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure Himiko's okay. Um. If you're in search of clues, I would investigate the classroom on the second floor. Huh? Huh? Well. I caught a glimpse of something odd while battling the Exocell in the courtroom. Courtroom. Courtyard. Whatever clue you're looking for, maybe in there. That's... Something odd. Hey! Just hurry. You don't have much time. It's nearly dawn. I'll commit that to my And memory. I'm worried about Himiko. Kibo. But... But you won't change the time limit, will you? Unfortunately. I can't keep evading the XSL's attacks beyond that time limit. If we don't settle this soon, I'll be destroyed. I'm running on fumes, bastards. I'm gonna die. And if that happens, we'll lose the chance to destroy the Ultimate Academy. That would be the worst ending, no? It would be an ending of pure despair. Kibo. Hey! Samugi, I'm going to the second floor. Yeah! I don't know if I can get... Uh, I don't know if I can get to all of them, but I'll do what I can. See you later. Godspeed, Samugi! Himiko, just a little longer. The power of my bonds. You have increased your bonds. You can move more debris than before. Oh god, my time limit is really almost up, huh? Oh fuck. I'm definitely gonna save my game just in case I fuck this up. Oops, backstory. There we go. Up we go. He's at the second floor, so... It's just... Over here. God, that time limit is getting down. It's getting bad. Out of my way, damn it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Classroom on the second floor, what? This one? What did you find in here, besides all these chairs being stacked up for some fucking reason? He said he saw something odd while fighting in the courtyard. I should be able to see the entire courtyard from here. Okay. This must be what he's talking about. Alright, let's see what I can find. Uh... What? The locker. The locker seems intact, but I don't think this is what Kiva was talking about. Isn't this the door I came in from? Door? This is room Kiva was talking about. I should investigate it here. It might be for the best to just blow up anything in the way. Wait, what? Wait, what, what happened? What he said? I'm sorry. I spaced out while reading that. Uh, I should investigate here. It might be for the best to just blow up anything. Okay. Wait, blow up anything in the way, so... Can I get Kiba to... Ah, oh, fuck. Wrong button. Shit. Can I tell Kiba to shoot shit in here? What, what, what's going on here? Uh... It's not the locker, then. What the hell is it? My time limit's almost up anyways. Jesus, fuck. Am I blind or something? Locker seems intact. Okay. Damn, used too much time. It's done already. Yeah, I know I was running out of time. Fuck, what's in that room? Took too long, be careful, you don't have time to investigate everywhere. Only investigate what you need to. Yeah. I was trying my best, okay? Oh, it puts me back in this room, thank you. 
He both said that he saw something odd while fighting in the courtyard. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can find something. Do I look outside? Oh, well, <laughs> they gave me way more time now. Fuck. Oh, I can just move them. Okay. Uh, get the hell out of my way. There's like, what is this, a fucking monitor or some shit? Or is this stairs? Uh, it's very specific. And you're like hitting shit. There we go. What is this desk? There's a keyboard floating above it. Is it connected to a computer? Hmm. This must be the something odd Kiba was talking about. When I touch the keyboard... Huh? Flash... flashback light setup. Huh? Setup? Like settings? Seeking answers, I press the enter key. Hello, Game Master. Ultimate talent, ultimate hunt. Last funeral, the world end in the Gopher Project. Outside the ruins, the tragedy, unlocking new memories. Do these settings create new flashback lights? To test my deduction, I select one of the categories. Select the subject you wish to remember. So, there's still some memories we haven't remembered yet. But if we can remember something new, it'll definitely All be a clue. Right. All right, let's try. I wonder what kind of memory is. I'll start with the survivors. Huh? Survivors on different planets. Other survivors in the Ark. Ooh, there are no survivors. So like the subject you wish to remember. Oh, so he's altering our memories. So like the subject you wish to remember. Does it mean by select, these are all memories we forgot? All of these would be true events. So why would you be able to select one? In these categories, there are several inconsistencies about the survivors. Do I have to select the correct one? That's true. I suppose I'll choose the survivors on different planets. If that's true, there's more hope for us. The symbol of Hope Peaks Academy, the worst incident in human history occurred with the, with the World Future Foundation, the world rebuilt by falling meteorites caused by blah, 16 still survived. However, there are survivors on other planets. There are survivors in other ships similar to the Ark. I suppose... I suppose I meant to select yes here. Uh, um... I'll press it. Flashback light set up complete. Huh? That sound. If I remember correctly, it came from the locker. If I remember correctly, the sound I heard definitely came from inside the locker. I'll open it. Ah, huh. a flashback light. This is new. I just got here. Uh, um... Just as I suspected, you can make flashback lights with the desk. I don't know why it was hidden in a normal looking classroom but there must be a switch hidden somewhere. Flipping the switch will cause this desk to activate. I'm sure Kibo saw all this when the room was destroyed, but what interests me is exactly how these flashback lights are made. There's only one truth. There should be only one true memory, but this clearly allows you to choose. Why? And there's no indication of which are real. Is there more than one truth? What is the truth? And what are the lies? Right at the moment, the classroom door suddenly burst open. Ah. Oh, there you are, Sweetie. Oh shit, how'd you get in here? Himiko. Huh? Classroom changed back to normal. Why is that? So, when the door opens, the classroom reverts back to normal. I can assume that was done in order to obfuscate the room's purpose. The person operating all this did not want us to see it. 
And if they're that cautious of us. Hey, Suichi. I don't know what you're thinking, Suichi, but hey. be happier that I survived. I was able to make a specular. A specular. A spectacular escape from the sealed room. Ah. Oh. All right. How did Himiko escape when the entrance was blocked? She probably found a secret entrance. I want to use the flashback light. Um, Himiko, how did you get out of the hidden room? Because the hidden door in the library was destroyed. Uh, um. We were so worried about you. You were trapped in there. Yeah. You don't understand how I escaped from there? Uh, okay. No? <laughs> I see you don't get it. You don't know how I escaped. <laughs> then I shall tell you. I escaped from the sealed room with my magic. Um, Himiko, now's not the time for... <laughs> Himiko, you okay? That was a close one. I almost died. Remember. I told you, now's not the time. Then Got it, I'll tell you. I definitely used my magic, but another thing that helped me escape that sealed room was the girls' bathroom on the first floor of the school building. Huh? The bathroom. Hey, Suichi. Do you want to go there with me? I think I would get locked up for that. Huh? Huh? Stop it. I'm not inviting you to go to the bathroom with me. Don't stare. Don't start getting weird thoughts, okay? No. No, I know that. The girls' bathroom on the first floor. What's that have to do with the hidden room? There doesn't appear to be any new clues other than the flashback light. You're right. All right, I'll head to the room. So, I'm assuming that the doorway was just used for visual effect, right? And the real way the mastermind would go in is through the bathroom. Through the woman's bathroom. I mean, that doesn't really, <laughs> doesn't really change anything. I'm the only guy left. Oh, man. Besides Kibo, I guess. But, you know. I can't go in because I'm a boy. I should ask him to go first. Um, but what's going on in the bathroom? Does it have something to do with the hidden room? Mm. Once you go in, you'll understand. Seeing is believing. Follow me. Himiko gestured me closer and walked into the girl's bathroom. The girl's bathroom, huh? Okay. This is an emergency. Nothing I can do about it. And now's not the time to be thinking about boys' and girls' bathrooms. Alright, I'll do it. I repeated several excuses in my mind as I stepped into the girl's bathroom. Damn, it's very clean in here! Um... What are we doing in here, Himiko? Mm. So, it's just like the killing game in Hotspeak Academy. Huh? What do you mean? Okay. Just like then, right? The hidden room and the bathroom are connected. Was it like that in... Was it like that in the first game? I don't remember that. Huh? The hidden room and the bathroom. Hey, Shuichi! Look where the equipment's placed. Jeez, caught up on past killing games. That's typical of the Ribbon of Despairs. The equipment, what do you mean, like, like, this super stall over here? Utility closet? Uh, um... It looks like a normal closet, but I carefully placed my palm on the far wall of the closet. Huh? A hidden passage. Dude, that hidden passage is too easy to discover. Anyone can just, like, press their back against that wall. Hmm. Isn't it surprising? A hidden pathway deep within the bathroom. Now proceed through this pathway. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go. I step through the false wall and into the hidden passageway. Alright. What are we doing here? Gonna be walking. I should be running. Yeah, 
It leads to the hidden room. <laughs> Damn, Mother Kuma, you got fucked up. The girl's bathroom and the hidden room in the library are connected. Then, the library isn't the only way to get in and out of the hidden room. The hidden room had the secret passageway leading out of it. And that passageway connects to the girl's bathroom on the first floor. But this passageway... It wasn't on Rentaro's survivor perk map. The passageway was hidden, even from him. A hidden passageway... Oh god, I can't read. A hidden passageway that only the mastermind knows about. Hmm. A passageway connected to the girl's bathroom. Okay. How you doing, Mother Kuma? Mother Kuma is lying on the ground, likely due to the explosion. Uh, um, is it broken? Hi, hello! I'm busted. It's over. I can't go on. I can't birth Monokumas anymore. I want to birth more and more and more. Birth Monokumas. Hey. Hey, is it true that you can make spear Monokumas? Yeah. Of course it's true. <laughs> Fine, since this is the end for me, I guess I'll say it. I have a built-in voice print authentication system. I can't birth Monokumas unless the designated person specifies, said, uh, specifically says the word birth. I called it. I fucking called it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I called it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Designed per- uh, designed. Designa uh, designated person. Here. It's to ensure that my Monokumas are birthed into a welcoming environment, you know? Hey! Wait a minute. This designated person, do you mean the mastermind? Only the mastermind's voice command will make you create a spare Monokuma. <laughs> that hint was on the house, so to speak. <laughs> I'll go into the killing game! Hey! Mm. It seems like it's really broken this time. And that was an important clue. Mother Kuma creates spare Monokumas after receiving receiving the Mastermind's voice command. Alright. Uh, so well, what's up here, though? You're right. Once more, I shall reveal the secret behind my escape. Okay. Yes, please mm. do. Right after you guys left this room, there was a huge explosion, and I got flipped over. When I came to my senses, it looked like uh, this. Um, I'm surprised you were hurt. You're right. Since I've been using my magic a lot lately, uh -huh. a magical backlash must have happened, and that's and that way, uh, God, and the way out, I got God damn it, and the way out got buried in rubble. Even I, the wise and powerful Himiko, panicked a little, but when I saw I was trapped in here. Hey. Wait, what? Oh, I said butt instead of bit. What the hell is wrong with me? What happened after that? I banged on the walls and the floors and yelled for help. Calmly and rationally, of course. I'm sure. Hmm. Then I happened to find a hidden pathway, and that's how I got out. Okay. Then I ran to Kibo, and he told me you were in the uh, classroom on the second floor. So I rushed over there. Hmm. I see. So that's what happened. I understand now. Hey. Well, was I useful? Huh? Huh? See, Himiko is still concerned about that. Oh, Himiko, you precious little, little thing. I should probably get out of here. If the entrance to the bathroom were blocked by rubble, you'd be completely trapped. Um, Himiko, let's go. I have a good idea what's going on here. Hey, something wrong? Hey, just tell me, just tell me, just tell it to me straight, like a man. Huh? Tell you what? Mm. The hidden pathway I found. It was a useful clue. I want to be useful for my friends. But I can't help watch investigations, can I? I couldn't find the mastermind. <laughs> oh, you're worried about that? Okay. Himiko, not only you were useful, you may have cracked the case wide open. I see. Really? If I found such an amazing clue, that's proof I'm no ordinary person. <laughs> I'm terrified of my own magical power. <laughs> right. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> She's like, listen. I don't care if I die. Tell it to me straight. Did I fucking do it? <laughs> Am I useful? Alright. Time to get the hell out of here. I just want to finish the investigation, that's all. And then I'm going to end the stream. Because I've been doing this for a long time. If we come this far, we're safe. 
Now that I feel safe, I'm a little over it. Then, Okay, I'll step outside. Blushing, I left the girl's room as fast as I could. Hey, Maki. Oh, God. Hey, Maki. At that moment... Huh? <laughs> oh. uh, it's not what you think. What are you doing? Are you in the girl's bathroom? Maki? Maki? It's not what it looks like. I'm just... Shut up. Do you want to die? Uh. No? Listen. There's a reason. Don't do that when I'm doing my business. I can't relieve myself if you do that. What? And he goes inside? And you were in there, Suichi? Uh, um... Okay, this is all a huge misunderstanding. I'll explain it to you, okay? Just calm down. Deactivate your shrine gun, please. All right, cool. Sure. Whatever. Well, I guess you wouldn't enter the girl's bathroom without a reason. Thank you for understanding. Okay, okay. I'll believe you. Thank you. Thank you. Though it seems like you want to murder me. By the way. Anyways, I found this. Ah. Oh. Taro's picture. Thanks. I took the photograph from her hand and inspected it closely. Hmm. Just as I thought. I sighed to myself, looking over the picture. Everything was beginning to connect in my mind. I finally saw through all the lies. Oh god, my fucking my stomach! I'm both hungry, and my stomach is bothering me. With this, I can fight. I can fight the mastermind behind this killing game. And I believe I can end it all. Hey. You look like you just realized something. Well... Just realized how much I love you, Maki. But, what do you want to do now? It's almost dawn. Mm. This is bad. You don't even know the mastermind's identity or whatever they are. Leave it to me. It's okay. I got a plan. Can you two please go to the... Oh, God. Can you please go get Tsumugi? She should be in one of the labs. After that, I'd like everyone to gather in the courtyard. Okay. I'll be waiting for you there. What's that mean? What do you mean? What are you planning on doing? That's... Start... Start... Stop the killing game, of course. Mm -hmm. But we haven't even found the mastermind, so how... I'm right already. We can talk about that later. We don't have much time left, so let's hurry up and find Tsumugi. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I see. I stood and watched Himiko and Maki go off to find Samuki. All right. All right, to the courtyard. But before I stop this killing game, I need to stop the destruction of the Ultimate Academy. All right. Time to get the hell out of here. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. <laughs> I am not. Loading screen? When I stepped out in the courtyard, I yelled at the top of my voice. Kibo! Kibo! Monokuma! Please stop your fighting. It's tearing this family apart. We can solve this another way. One of the best, uh, one that's best for both of you. That's it! Please listen to me. My voice reverberated throughout the courtyard. And after a while, It's almost dawn, like we agreed. Have you found what you were looking for? Are you ready to do what must be done, Shuichi? Either way, this is your last chance. I have no idea what's going on, but messing with this robot is starting to bore me, so I guess I'll hear you out. So, what is this other way? Peace and love? A class trial. We're all gonna do a class trial, one last time. A class, class trial? trial? That's... What do you mean? You trying to continue the killing game? Why, you... This is no time to mess around. I thought you were gonna end it. No. I'm not messing around. That's wrong! This class trial will end the killing game. Huh? A class trial to end the killing game? As Kibo spoke, I saw Maki running over from the school building. What are you talking about? Hey, what do you mean we're gonna do a class trial? You... Are you serious? It can't be! That's how you're gonna end the killing game? Okay. Everyone's here. Now let me say this. We need to stop fighting. 
and we have one more class trial. That's it. We reveal the whole truth there. We can end this killing game. What are you saying? The killing game will end when the truth is exposed. Why would you say such a thing? That's. By the end of class trial, that will be clear. Monokuma, you're the one who calls these class trials. All right. But not this time. This time we choose to call a class trial. One to end them all. You're really bugging me. But why do we need to hold a class trial when no one has been killed? Well, it's fine. Huh. That's what I like to say, but I get it. What? What? Cause! My little shout out with the rundown robot. Shout out? Shoot out with the rundown robot. It hasn't been fun for a while now. And I think it's pretty interesting that you guys are on board with holding a class trial. In fact, I welcome your... In <clears throat> I, I, I'm, I'm like, for some reason my mind just went blank. I'm blanking on the word. Jesus. I like your initiative. That's the word. I like your initiative. This turns of... Ah, oh God. These turn... God damn it, I can't read. This turn of events will make everything very interesting. I've been streaming for fucking five hours. I'm losing my brain cells. So even if these circum even in these circumstances, you take the opportunity to make things interesting. That means this killing game must be. And However, if we're gonna hold the class trial, I'm gonna hold you guys responsible for it. Huh? Responsible. Cause it would be bad if we had a class trial that didn't reach a satisfying conclusion. In other words, in other words, if the trial doesn't go your way and ends without the truth being exposed, tell you the truth. then you all will be held responsible for staging such a disappointing class trial. Uh, okay. Of course. <laughs> I don't doubt your resolve at all. But, are the others okay with it too? The responsibility will be shared by all of you. What was that? The responsibility will be shared. But... We've... We've been ready. That's true. I trust you, but if you screw this up, <laughs> I'll kill you before Monokuma can. Okay. Yeah, I believe you. No, this time I really believe you. You're right. You're right. There's no point freaking out now. Hmm. I have friends I can trust. There's nothing to be scared of. <sighs> um. Kibo? Yeah. Yeah. Also, if we're going to do the class trial, you got to take off all the fancy sci-fi gear. We can't risk you going berserk if the outcome is in to your favor. I see take off this gear? If I remove these arguments now, I will lose my chance to destroy this academy. This is the last chance. The last chance to not let Monokuma win. Is this really alright? Um... Kibo, please believe me. I don't want Monokuma to win. We're going to win. Our hope is going to end this game of despair. But... Do you really think that ending awaits us? It sounds too good to be true, honestly. Okay. Yes, I do. That ending is hope for us. We can't give up on hope. Um... Kibo, let's trust to reach you here. Hey. You don't want to die either, right? Right. We're all friends who can believe in each other, aren't we? I understand. Very well. Remove my arguments. Let's hold this class trial. Thank you. Thanks, Kibo. <laughs> then it's decided. All right. That's right. Our class trial. That's it. Our final battle. Our hope will defeat your despair. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? Gross. Is he that confident he'll win? It's fine. He'll be okay. He's probably just bluffing. Who can say? Well, if we're gonna do this class trial, we should hurry up and head to the trial grounds. Oh. However, I will have the monocup strip that robot from this gear. Yeah. I know. You guys! Everyone else, please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment and head to the trial grounds. <laughs> I'll go on ahead and begin preparations. Monocubs, you can take it from here. All right then, you're gonna take off all this gear. You <laughs> take all this gear off the robot. Let's do this! I'll finish it in a second, cause I work like I eat, fast and sloppy. <sighs> Shouldn't be proud of being sloppy. Everyone, I'll meet you guys there. Uh, okay. Yeah, Kibo's about to have a big robot gangbang.
keep a walk back toward, towards his lab with the exocells. Then... We should go too. Don't tell me. I can't believe we're having another class trial. Why? I didn't think Monokuma would accept it so easily. That's way too easy. I can't help but feel a little strange. It's from that one thing! He's probably agreed to stop Kibo from destroying the academy. Still, it was almost too easy. Perhaps Monokuma simply expected this. But it was still much easier than I imagined it would be. No sense worrying about it now. We've come this far, we just have to do it. To end this killing game, we have to follow his rules one last time. And win this class trial. Alright. With that, I can say that the investigation is most likely over. And with that, so is this fucking stream. Jesus. I've been streaming for... 5 hours and 20 minutes. Ah, oh, God. And just sitting in this chair is hurting my ass, I'm not gonna lie. But, even though we're ending it here, um, next time I stream will be, uh, well, for Danganronpa, if, if I have time to do it before, before Monday, uh, like always, then I'll put an update on my, um, on the YouTube community page or on my Twitter, all right? I'll update you guys when I go live. Also, in between that time, I might just stream for the fuck of it. I did it earlier today, played some uh, Days Gone because I was just playing it, and then also some Guilty Gear Strive because that was fun. I like fighting games. And yeah, uh, as always, if you're interested in watching anything else that I do, on my YouTube, I just finished uploading all the um, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy stuff. And then for Psychonauts 2, I'm continuing that playthrough. Today I'm going to upload some uh, parts, two parts for it, right? Because I haven't uploaded in like a week on YouTube. So there's that. And then I'll probably upload more um, more archive stuff that I have from live streams and stuff like that. So for those who came watching live, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you. For those watching the VODs, hope. And it's entertaining enough for you and for those on youtube if you can come and watch it live my twitch is in the description below along with my twitter if you're interested in that and yeah fucking come watch it live because you guys on youtube don't get the live streams until after the playthroughs are over so that's pretty fun i guess if, if your idea of fun is watching me <laughs> but yeah uh, other than that, the only other thing to say for me is, uh, on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel, especially liking things, because YouTube is a pain in the ass. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it for me, and it for this stream. So, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.